Self-love. In this video, I'm talking about self-love and why it's important before you commit to anything else or anyone else. Whether it's a relationship, a business relationship, a friendship, uh, relations with family, whatever the case may be, you need to learn to appreciate yourself for what you can do. Because not many of us do that. Not many of us really sit back and appreciate ourselves for who we are to ourselves. And there's many different reasons why we each have our own story. But the reality for it is, the, the reality of me making this video is, in the past year, a little over year and a half, I've been able to reflect on the past five years of my life where I was on a successful path I was knocked down I worked myself back up and I was knocked down again and I understood it's it's a continuous cycle but what matters most is how you bounce back from it and how that ties into love and loving yourself is learning from yourself and appreciating yourself for going through such obstacles and bouncing back in some way, shape, or form. See, a lot of people, when they go through a breakup, when they go through a fallout of a relationship, a business friendship, when they get laid off, fired, whatever the case may be, you automatically think to yourself, what did I do wrong? And it's usually nothing that you did wrong. In some cases, it absolutely is. But you need to really think, things happen for a reason. You know, I have a good, good buddy of mine who, you know, we go through fallouts here and there. And one thing he always says is seasons come and seasons go. Sometimes your seasons are longer than others. Sometimes it's a short spurt. It's a short test. But that's true. Right now, a lot of people in the tech industry are going through this season of layoffs. It has continued into 2024. Many of which have not been able to find a job. I myself keep myself in the market, even though I have my own business and I have a set number of clientele, but it's not easy. I'll tell you, it is not easy at all being a business owner. I'll save that for another, another video. Not only business owner, but a one man entrepreneur where you do work with a handful of folks who do help you out. In my case, it's editors and maybe other creative strategists, but it's tough. It really is tough. And I can only imagine for folks who aren't the entrepreneurial kind, who they're more intrapreneurs, right? They're able to make things happen within the company, create change within the company, but they don't really want to be business owners and that's okay. But I can only imagine someone who was laid off around the same time that I was if they're still laid off, what they're going through. Because I, I myself have put in tons of applications and have heard back a handful. It's just that competitive. And it's not even that it's competitive. It's just the market is absolutely trash right now. It's hard for anybody to find a decent paying job with the, with the change of the economy and here in Florida we've seen the cost of living practically go up threefold within three and a half years it's crazy but the important part is you learn about yourself and you learn your strengths you learn your weaknesses and you position yourself to become that diamond in the rough because yes you fell down Many other people fell down, but how are you going to shine within that crowd of people who were just knocked down? 
Success is not linear. Success is not linear whatsoever. I wish it was. If success was linear with how hard you work and how many connections you make here and there, it would be easy to get where you want to be. But the truth is, success tests you. There's mountains you got to climb. And that, that first... Those first few challenges that you had, little did you know, those are just hills. Those are the Florida rolling hills, the hills of Claremont. Little do you know, your next hill is the Appalachians. And then you hit the Rockies, and then you're going to have Mount Everest. And each little hill is going to teach you a lesson. It's going to teach you a process. It's going to reward you once you get past it. But what goes up must come down. And you must have some type of plan. You don't need to plan out every single step, but you must have some type of guideline to get you to where you want to be. And I'm going through that right now. Because it's been a year, over a year since I've been laid off. And I questioned myself when I got laid off for the third time in my career. What did I do wrong? I was doing well. I was crushing. I was making the company money. At least in my department, I was. My division. I didn't do anything wrong. I really didn't. And that's the truth. Too many people think when you get laid off that maybe you did something wrong. Listen, Tesla just had another layoff. And one of the folks that they laid off was an executive that used to be in my book of business. He was there over a decade and he was laid off. That's crazy to think. Just think about that. Someone who committed themselves to a company for over 10 years, built out a vast majority of processes another person who was laid off built built their supercharging um game plan essentially it was strategized that super the supercharging across north america and to have other ev companies adopt their methods and their plug that person got let go you think you think they did something wrong you think they weren't worth something no, at the end of the day, business is a business and you must not take it personal. And that's, that's even for you. If you're not getting what you want from your employer, if they promised you something and didn't give it to you, business is business. You must go on. This whole company loyalty thing, mm-mm. If companies cannot be loyal, you shouldn't also think that you're obligated to be loyal to a company. That's one thing that the last few generations have always said, oh, you got to stick with a company for years. Yeah, if I would have stuck with the first company that hired me out of college, I would have never had a six-figure year. Never. Crazy. Crazy. But because I took, I took on opportunities that were presented to me by others, it created this ladder effect of getting a higher role, a higher role, more strategic roles, right? Entry level roles, most of the time are all task oriented. You must do this. You must do that. Once you kind of climb the ranks, not only not, not even to become a manager, but once you climb the ranks, you get to more strategic roles. And once you hit those strategic roles, then you hit certain different levels of managerial roles, right? The corporate ladder isn't necessarily one ladder. It's not like you come in and level one and level five, you're, you know, you're a CEO. No, there's levels within levels. And that's, that's content for another video. But to, to bring things back to the whole purpose of this video is You are worthy of much more than you think. 
I think we underestimate ourselves quite a bit in terms of what, what our worth is. And worth isn't necessarily a dollar amount. Worth is conversational. Worth is financial too, right? There, there could be a monetary value to it too. But worth is, is also time. The time you put in is your worth. If a company says, we want you to work two hours a day and we'll pay you $100 an hour, your worth is two hours a day at $100 an hour, that's $200 a day. Versus someone who may be working eight hours a day and making $10 an hour, their worth is only worth $80, but their time is much more valuable. That eight hours, you can technically make more as an entrepreneur in some capacity than $10 an hour. You go buy something and flip it. So remember that. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling under, if you're questioning yourself and you're not sure, what should I, where should I go next? What did I do wrong? Sit back, evaluate your strengths, evaluate your weaknesses. Think about your peers, what comments. Think about your peers, what they say your strong points were. Go back to any reviews you may have had. Sit back, think about your relationships. What could have you done better? Because a lot of times, yeah, maybe there was something you could have done better. What? How could have you approached the situation better? I could go on and on. I really, I really can. I could go on for hours and just drop an hour YouTube video, but I need to break these out. I could already tell I went all over the place in this video. So just remember, you're worth more than you think you are. And you got this. Till next video, you already know. We out.